rebounding situation in terms of wanting more? Did you feel that they wanted it more than you guys did today? The way they played. The last two minutes, 100%. Those are three rebounds. If we want to win games, we got to come up with no excuses. Kevin, what, what changed for you guys to start that second half? Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, they got hot. Give them a lot of credit. They moved the ball well. They got us in transition. Uh, we stopped scoring. Um, so I don't think it was one thing. They just maybe woke up a little bit, and uh, you know, we didn't take the punches. What were they doing defensively to slow you guys down in the second half? Um, and nothing too different. I, I just think we had to be more aggressive going to the basket, trying to draw fouls. They got our big men in foul trouble. Uh, you know, they're continuously trying to attack us, and uh, we just got to be smarter, take better shots. We're going to try to finish at the rim. It seemed that, that when Jared hits that three and uh, three point or gets fouled by uh, Jackson, picks up his fourth, that you're you're right in the game. And after that, it just seemed that they they, they took that punch and, and just went on. What's the difference between that team and your team at that stage of the game? Unfortunately, I don't know if I have that answer. Um, like I said, we didn't we didn't take their punches. I don't think we responded as well as we could have. We got up 13, and we we're all rah rah halftime. You know, we were excited. We knew the game wasn't over, but we were excited, and we got ahead of ourselves uh, a little bit. Um, you know, I knew they were going to give up. It's not the type of team they are. It's not the type of atmosphere that you can see that they have on the sidelines, the way they play, the way they're together, and. Um, they were just better in the second half. Kevin, you guys have had some pretty brutal losses, but where does this one, in terms of just being on your home floor and having a top 10 team right where you want them? Yeah, it just, it's frustrating because it seems like we just keep not making the right plays down the stretch. You know, all the big plays are the plays we need to make. We're just not making the little plays, and that's why we keep losing close, close games at the end. That's why just getting frustrated because we're making the same mistakes. Kevin, I know you had that timeout after Nickens was fouled. Uh, I guess when they, they shot their three thirds, I know in that next possession count drove to the hoop. Was there something that Churchin wanted you guys to do on that play when you got the ball back or count drove? Or did he draw something up? Um, I don't know if I remember specifically. It was like 45 seconds left. In the game? Yeah. Uh, we got blocked. Uh, yeah, it was supposed to be um, me coming off a double screen from the top. And uh, I see Tug and thought he had his man beat and got blocked. When you get to situations where Checo and Bruno both have four fouls, how much are you missing guys like Justin Jackson and Ivan Bender? We can't really you know, bring up those guys anymore. We haven't had them for more than half the year. We have too many games that still wish they're out there with us. Yeah. We have however many guys we have right now, and that's who we got to win with, and we're good enough to win with the people we have now. So we got to stop talking about the guys who are hurt.